As I said once, you don't need to be Kiwi to be with the Kiwi team, but you need to embrace their culture, which has a lot to do with uh, being down to earth, uh, believing in what sports represent. It really is hard to exaggerate what happens in New Zealand when Team New Zealand is fighting for the America's Cup. It literally stops the country. It's hugely unifying because it's a classic David and Goliath. We're showing the rest of the world what we can do. A lot of people are involved in this sport for the limelight, but that's not Mateo at all. He does it for the right reasons. He believes in the team, the culture, and he's a great champion of New Zealand. A lot of people don't realise without Mateo Donora, Emirates Team New Zealand would not exist. And Luna Ross is not the only Italian support being enjoyed by the Kiwis. The Auckland-built superyacht Imagine, working as a hospitality boat, is owned by Team New Zealand benefactor Matteo Donora. A Canadian now based in Monaco, Matteo Donora is one of New Zealand's biggest supporters. His philanthropic acts include significant contributions to the Christchurch Earthquake Appeal, funding a fellowship for research into tinnitus. New Zealand is now at the forefront of tinnitus research largely due to the generosity and support of Matteo de Nora. And his support of the Neurology Research Unit at the University of Auckland. His passion for yachting drove him to help fund every Emirates Team New Zealand America's Cup campaign since 2003. CEO Grant Dalton calls him the man who saved Team New Zealand. It is truly a delight to honour Mr de Nora as a friend of New Zealand at the World Class New Zealand Awards. I once said I'd rather be third with Team New Zealand than first with Team, well, I better not say what the other team is. 